So two words often get uh, thrown around and confused for one another, and I thought we would uh, take a few minutes to clarify the differences between salts and sodium. Now we know they're related, but I wanted to get at exactly what the differences are and how to kind of uh, make sense of all the different numbers I hear around how much I'm supposed to get every day. So I always think for salt of my salt shaker at home. It sits right next to my pepper shaker and whenever I have dinner I often reach for it and sometimes I think, you know, am I eating too much of it or am I uh, putting on more than I should? And so I was thinking about this in terms of a spoon. So if you have a spoon, let's say a teaspoon, of salt. And let's say I took this teaspoon of salt, uh, here it is, and I weighed it on a scale. I would find that one teaspoon of salt weighs about six grams. Let me write that here. So it's about six grams. And six grams is the same as 6,000 milligrams. So that's the weight of one teaspoon of salt. Now the question comes up, how much of that is from sodium? So to answer that, we know that sodium chloride NaCl is salt. That is what salt is made of. And if I imagine there's nothing in my salt shaker except for sodium chloride, no, no uh, uh, ants have gotten in there, or, you know, no, no other uh, stuff besides the sodium chloride, then, then I can assume that all 6,000 milligrams of salt is going to be either from the sodium or from the chloride. Okay. Now the Na, just to be totally clear, is the sodium part and the Cl is the chloride part, that's what that means. And they actually, all atoms have a, a certain atom, atomic mass unit. So you can actually weigh the, the atoms and line them up by size, and you know, which is the, the largest in weight and which is the smallest in weight. And sodium weighs out at about 23 units. And chloride is about 35 units. So this is chloride right here, and this is sodium right here. And so if I was to sum it up, I would get 23 plus 35 is 58 units. And units, just uh, to say it again, or to write it out rather, is atomic mass units. So now that I have the total atomic mass units, I can try to figure out what proportion is from the sodium and what proportion is from the chloride. So for the first part, the sodium, I can simply take the 23 units over the 58 unit total, and the units cancel out, and that works out to about 40%. So that means about 40% of the weight of salt is actually coming from the sodium part. And the chloride part is the rest of it. So I've got 35 units over 58 units, and that is about 60%. And again, the units cancel out 60%. So I know that in salt, 40% of the weight is coming from the sodium, 60% from the chloride. Got it. Now, I have to go back to my teaspoon. In my teaspoon, I had 6 grams or 6,000 milligrams. So in that teaspoon, I can just multiply it by these numbers to figure out how much of the weight comes from the sodium and how much comes from the chloride. So the sodium gives me 40% of 6,000 which when you multiply those two numbers, you get 2,400 milligrams of sodium, and 60% times 6,000 is 3,600 milligrams of chloride. So now I know in each teaspoon, I have 2,400 milligrams of sodium. And now I've actually looked and I've seen that there are recommendations on how much sodium you should get in your diet if you're not having any medical problems in general. So I will call that a normal daily salt amount or normal uh, amount. And this is a regular, so this would be a regular amount of salt. And then there's like a low salt amount. So this would be like a low salt amount. So if you're on a low salt diet, we'll figure out how much salt uh, you're supposed to take in or how much sodium you're supposed to take in and same for regular, how much you should be taking if you're on a regular diet. 
And I'm going to do it both from a salt perspective and also from a sodium perspective. So let's do the sodium perspective first. So normal amount you should get, actually let me write per day. And let's do of sodium. And over here we'll do salt. So regular amount of sodium you should get per day uh, is about 2300 milligrams. So 2300 milligrams. And on a low salt diet, you should get about 1500 milligrams. Now we know that one teaspoon has 2400 milligrams and 24 and 2300 I think are pretty close. So in my conversion, I'm going to assume that that means I can have about one teaspoon per day of salt. And on a low salt diet, you're recommended to have no more than about 1500 milligrams of sodium. And if one teaspoon equals 2400 milligrams of sodium, then 1500 is about two thirds of it. So that's about two thirds of a teaspoon of salt. So when I look at a teaspoon of salt now, I just remember that if this is my teaspoon, that if I'm on a regular diet, I can basically take one of them each day. Not each meal, but each day. And if I'm on a low salt diet, I can only fill it up about two thirds of the way. And I'd have to stop there because that's the limit of sodium that I'm recommended.